Welcome back. A friend of the show, April Sins, is back. Good afternoon, April. How are you today? Good afternoon. I'm doing great, Taylor. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You have some pretty important uh, things to share with people for Thanksgiving. It's coming up. People are going to be gathering. Yeah. So how can we stay safe, especially during a pandemic like we're seeing now? Yes, definitely. So the CDC has some guidelines for us, um, which they're on their website if you want to look at more details on it. But um, one thing is, is make sure that everybody washes their hands. I mean, we've talked about that all year long, right? Still important, especially at Thanksgiving. Um, and just make sure it's before and after you're preparing, the, preparing any food, uh, serving food, and also eating. So make sure you have some good hand washing. Hand sanitizer is a good backup if you don't have uh, hand washing available, if you're having an outdoors Thanksgiving or whatnot. Um, also, wearing a mask when preparing or serving food for anyone outside of your household is a good practice. And um, limiting the amount of people that are in the kitchen when the food's being prepared, and also like if, if it's serving time as well, just kind of keeping that distance Still, I know it's family, but still keeping that, uh, that uh, social distance as well. And then uh, limiting, um, I mean, also washing and disinfecting your um, tablecloths. So think about your tablecloths, your napkins. If you're using anything reusable, make sure you wash it right away. But it also might be a good time to think about investing in some paper goods. Mm -hmm. So that way you don't have to wash the dirty dishes. And then um, a lot of people are talking about, well, should I bring a big dish or should I bring something? What should I bring, like a potluck or not? Well, if, if you're having people from outside of your household, consider asking guests to bring something for their family um, because of the serving and using the utensils and things like that, that crossover. Uh, <clears throat> and then also maybe uh, having some individually portioned things. So yeah. right here I have a little pan right here that you can make some individual portions. I found a recipe for some for stuffing muffins, oh. you know, so just think outside of the box like that, you know, think of what can you have that's individual, that's maybe a grab and go, or maybe if you, you know, the, the big bowl of chips, that's mm -hmm. not so good at, at Thanksgiving. So make sure you're getting some individual chips, individual cookies and drinks that are individual, easy grab and go uh, solutions for that. Also, too, they recommend that if, if you are having like a, um, a serving area, that one person that has masks and gloves on can serve everybody to avoid multiple people touching the utensils. But think about your neighbors, though. Um, if you have a neighbor that's spending Thanksgiving alone, if you have food that's been prepared safely and you could share with them, you could bring it and let yeah. them know that, they, that you brought them something. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Those, are, those are all great tips, April. Thank you so much for sharing them with us today. Thank you so much. Absolutely. If you want to learn more, we're going to post this on our website, klaf.com. Let's go ahead.